Lot of you probably wonder what kind of magic is responsible for operation of guitar pedals. In this video I will reveal this secret for you and we will take a peek inside those four devices. I will show all parts inside and tell a bit about what they can do. As you probably already know, because you need to plug power adapter to any pedal to work, those are electronical devices. They use electronic parts to impact and modify signal from your guitar. Tone is generated by guitar pickups and it's composed of different frequencies of electric signal. So by using effects you can for example amplify it, modulate its amplitude or even modify its frequency. Let's check what is responsible for all those changes. As you can see each pedal has mainboard. They have different colors, red, black, brown and green, but all are similar. They keep all parts in place and provides connections between each part. You can see lot of lines on these boards. Those are connections between parts. Boards are usually one or dual layer. It means that connections between parts are on one or both sides. As you see, Boss Equalizer has connections only at one side. All other boards I'm showing are dual layer. Let's talk a bit about all those parts on the boards. That small blue candies are resistors. You will recognize them by few stripes printed on. It's a color code used to show value of this part. Each can have different value, matched to secret needs. As you see, they can be also brown, still do the same, just different production material. They can also be that small and then they have value code printed on instead of stripes. Resistors are usually used as a part of filters to cut unwanted frequencies, to provide proper power for other parts. They can decrease volume of your signal or can be part of more complicated blocks that can amplify or modify your signal. Here you can see some new not mounted resistors. These bigger candies are capacitors. They have different shapes and colors and value code printed on. Paired with resistors they create filters. They are also used to separate each block of circuit or stabilize or smooth power. There are also small versions of them. Those round barrels are also capacitors, but they are a bit different. They are polarized, so they have positive and negative sides. We call them electrolytic capacitors. Here you can see some not mounted capacitors. As you see, electrolytic capacitors have indicated negative side and also legs are shorter this side. Those black parts with three legs are transistors. In pedals usually used as your guitar signal amplifiers or electrically controlled switches. There are a lot of different models and all can act different and be more suitable for switching or amplifying purposes. Here you can see some not mounted. They can be in different packages and be built of different material, but all act similar. Those parts with lot of legs are integrated circuits. They are just pack of other components you already know. Resistors, capacitors and transistors in one small package designed to do exact things. They can be amplifiers, generators of signal pools, they can be delay devices or even like this one more complex digital chips. Digital chips are more like small computers and they are programmed to do anything you will imagine. For example, in this Earthquaker devices pedal we have this clickless switch which is used to control onboard relay switch, which is controlled by this chip to switch pedal on and off. Here you can see some not mounted. They have different numbers of legs and different packages and as said can be digital chips or analog integrated circuits. Some of digital ones are already pre-programmed to use an exact circuit, like this PT2399 delay chip to create echo effect. Those are LEDs, light emitting diodes. You can see them every day in a lot of devices. Simplest role is to indicate pedal on and off. But they can be also useful with creating distortion pedal because they are able to clip and compress your signal. Each diode has negative and positive legs. And same as electrolytic capacitors, negative leg is shorter. They can also have three legs. That's actually two different colors of LEDs in one package, with one leg shared. There are also diodes that don't produce light. 
Those are used, for example, to protect your circuits because of ability of blocking electricity in one way. Or can be also useful to clip and compress your signal in overdrive or distortion pedal. They also have positive and negative legs and negative side is indicated by stripe on the side. This is potentiometer. They are used to control some settings in circuits. They are actually resistors that can be set to different value. Some of them are that small and are used by designers to precise tweaking of circuit behavior. Here you can see some of not mounted. They look different, but all act the same. All pedals also has switches. Foot switches to turn them on and off or change some settings by foot, for example, turn on additional boost circuit. And the smaller toggle switches. All acts the same, just different packages and number of connections. Guitar pedal will not work without connecting input and output signals, so those sockets are used for this. They can also be used to connect external foot switches or expression pedals in some devices. And last, but probably most important, power connector. Without power, pedal can't work. So as you see, all that magic is just electricity and proper use of electronic components. If you enjoyed this video, click thumb up and subscribe my channel. If you would like to see more videos about guitar pedals, leave a comment and hit notification bell.